Sana! Are you excited? Si, si, si. Si, si, si. Welcome to Nuts and Boltons, your inside guide to life at the West. We've got Manny Lettenbeckler at XL Ligaros, who's going to take you for an inside guide to see what's going on. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> so as you can see, Manny knows exactly what he's talking about. I'm off for my first knee surgery now, and uh, so it's back over to Manny to take you on the track walk. Steps, steps, steps everywhere. <laughs> Just walking the first actually difficult part I would say it's pretty massive but the landscape is awesome <laughs> with the cities in the background that's really nice and yeah it's the first difficult part I would say we're going probably maybe like 50 meters more up there and then dropping into a riverbed maybe we will do the triple step on this right on this side wah, wah, wah. or we're going for the big one wah. Everything is possible. It's raining now. It's a must, so we can't stop it. it. Makes it even harder. The race. I think it's the last riverbed now while we are walking. Legs are tired, and now it's time to focus in for tomorrow. Yo, what up? Hi. Taking over the Paul Bolton vlog. <laughs> Famous <laughs> camera crew is here. Yo, Paul. Hi. So I just had a little hop uh, this morning. We were here early doors. But unfortunately, the um, the ACL is completely gone. So these are some pictures from the inside of my knee. The meniscus and everything is perfect. He's really happy with how it's uh, all stitched back together. This is your ACL here inside the knee. And uh, it should be like a nice piece of ligament, nice and smooth. But as you can see, it looks like a, a piece of meat that's been chewed up and spat out. So. Good news about the meniscus, but we need to have another operation and once all this has calmed down and, and there we get a bit of motion in it now. So yeah, a few weeks time, another, another operation and um, staying positive is the main thing. Okay, I'm here, I'm here with Alfredo Gomez. And it's gonna be super muddy. You're excited and ready for the race to get smashed in the corners <laughs> yeah. and riding some awesome proper stuff. Especially for the free practice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Stay tuned. We will come out, out later with some good stuff, some good racing and some good battles. A lot of mess. Flatching <laughs> fun! So I've just picked Paul's phone up. It looks like we have a message which was left late like last night from Manny. So let's go and find Paul. I've got him working. Today is the Porto City race and this is what Paul's busy doing. Hello. Spray painting. Yeah, the things you do when you're, you know, bored. Hey Paul, what's up? Second day is over. Um, had a little crash already in the <laughs> semi-final. Was hurting two fingers, but it's still all right. The race was good, finished third. Me and Teddy had a good battle, and also Alfredo, everybody was riding really well. Like, little sauna was riding really good, so everybody's on it this year, so we have to have to keep the momentum also for tomorrow and on Sunday. So wish me luck. So it looks like Manny had a great result last night in the Enduro Cross, but in the meantime, I've got to live with someone who's pretty cheesed off. What's wrong, Paul? I'm just chopping some veggies, trying to stay as healthy as possible. And them guys are going to be ripping round the old town of Porto. I'm sat here. But let's see who can uh, get some podium pie tonight. I'm pumped now. So hopefully there is also a podium today and a podium tomorrow. So new section. We're going down all these levels. 
and then coming into this log section. It's actually pretty long. Can't see the end, so it's quite a lot of logs. But it's nice, like they made the track longer, so there are also some more places to pass people, I would say, just for the final today. It's awesome. It's just awesome to be back in Portland and race there. Streets are packed now. Really cool location. We are dropping down. People are everywhere, so everybody's excited. Michele Bosi, you're excited? Yeah, quite a lot. You want to say something to Paul Bolton? That uh, he's not here. I, I try to don't crash here, man. <laughs> So we've just had a hospital visit. <laughs> so we've just been to uh, visit the hospital, um, had a scan, checked everything's okay um, with the baby. So here we have our scan picture. How are you feeling, Paul? <laughs> really happy. It's going to be awesome, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. A new challenge with uh, my soulmate, Mrs. B. Um, both really happy, and we can't wait to find out what this means for us all. That's really cool. Fans are out, sound is ready. Are you ready? I'm ready, yeah, I think. Perfect. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I'm happy that I didn't crash into the water. Johnny went swimming. Uh, it's pretty deep there, so they already have this bike out again. I mean, maybe it's already rolling. Yeah, it was a good good day. Super excited now for tomorrow, and um, just the crowd was amazing. So thanks for them. Huh? They were on it today. That's really good. So, Johnny, did you went swimming? Uh, <coughs> I went Statement. Dip. I thought the rule: if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> so it's like extra points if you go swimming. So he had actually the best performance of all of us in the final. If it was points for swimming, I won. <laughs> so we're just out for a, a meal out this evening. It's um, the day before the main race at Lagares. We're trying to keep our minds off not being in Porto. Um, we've just got a message from Manny. Sounds like he had a little bit of a nightmare in the street race, um, but he uh, sounds focused for tomorrow. I would have tried to almost make my uh, decisions about tomorrow um, by from the track walking the other day. Uh, so it depends how it's gonna it's gonna be weird. I think tomorrow it could be could be more slippy than usual. Uh, for sure, there's gonna be some very slippery sections, but. With that rain that they've had, it could actually make it a bit grippier in places. So um, it's going to be all about tyre choice, moose choice, and um, and then who's got the most power in their engine. So, and I don't mean the bike, I mean <laughs> the human engine. Who can keep plugging along and uh, keep making everything happen? It's all to play for. It's it's the West at the end of the day. So we wish we were there. <laughs> yeah, but now for us, it's um, a bit of chill out time have a couple of beers tonight well I am Lisa's not and uh, going out for a nice meal so we're here right before the start on Sunday's race Alfredo is excited Teddy's excited Billy you want to say something about today uh, it's gonna be hot I think very hot and slippy hot and slippy, hot and slippy. that's what okay. we're going for okay perfect <laughs>
happy to finish finish this race third. I was leading quite long, having one and a half of the race, and then Mario and Wake came up to me, and they rode really good. So I'm still happy to be third. I was super close to to Graham, but still finishing third. It's amazing, good start into the season. And we are left in Meekler. Yeah. Yo, Paul, what's up? Race is over. I'm super tired. And I'm happy that it's over, really. It was way harder than last year. The riverbeds were way more difficult. But we got the trophy third again, like last year. Happy with it. Um, yeah. Now it's time for probably a drink and a cold shower. So hopefully see you soon, mate. Bye. So an absolutely solid start to the West season for Manny there with a third place. So there's still plenty of Mad Motorsports May action coming your way. Check out the Red Bull Motorsports channel. And if you've got a big appetite for West or Enduro action, simply click the link below. And if it's the Nuts and Boltons vlog that you're after, subscribe by hitting the link below. And a massive thank you to all you guys for the awesome comments on the vlog. Really keeps me positive and uh, focusing on a good recovery. Thanks for all watching. See you soon. Ooh.